Trends are changing every year, but video trends are changing by the month, and us creators have to keep up. Whether you're an online video creator or have video clients, this video is for you. Let's be honest here. Our generation's attention span has been reduced to a 15 second cat video on TikTok. Because of this, social media platforms know that they need to prioritize short form content to keep their viewers entertained. Now, how can all this information be applicable to your content creation game, right? So the thing is, short form vertical content actually drives traffic to your longer form content. It's similar to how movie trailers do for the next big blockbuster. Why wouldn't you want to be making these short form commercials for your longer form video? If you haven't started already, here are some tips to get you started with short form content. Repurposing old videos. A secret that a lot of people don't think about is that you don't actually need to produce new content. You probably already have like 10 pieces of short form videos in the videos you've already created. There's gotta be some sort of gold in there somewhere. When you're writing a script for your main video, keep in mind also to write a short snippet for your shorter form videos to give your audience a bit more of a taste of what the long main video can be. With that said, it would really help improve your videos if you learn some vertical filmmaking. <sighs> Okay, quick question for you guys. Have you been implementing Reels, Shorts, and TikTok into your content creation workflow? And if you have, has it been showing you any positive results? If you haven't started, but you're thinking of starting, then go ahead and check out our playlist over at Artlist where we have TikTok style music. The link's in the description below. Now let's talk about our next trend, mobile filmmaking. Because smartphones are becoming the primary tool for creating and viewing videos, vertical content isn't going anywhere. Vertical videos will become the new standard because the new generations will grow with them. Can't believe I'm old enough to say that. On top of that, they might even perceive horizontal videos as the weird thing, which is also, it's, that's weird for me to think about. <laughs> for those of you that have video clients, most likely they're gonna wanna take advantage of all the new trends in short form videos and smartphone filmmaking. Modern marketing is moving more towards being authentic and genuine with your end user or your audience. Regardless, if you create original content or you have video clients, check out which plan works for you on our list. Mobile filmmaking isn't only democratizing shooting your videos, but also editing them as well. Your phone is literally now a full film studio from concept to production and all the way through the edit. Here's a short list of some of the apps that you can use to start and finish your videos using just your phone. That's insane to me. We have Studio Binder and Shot Lister for pre-production, Filmic Pro for production, LumaFusion, and Premiere Rush for editing. The next trend's a little bit out of my skill set, so I sat with my friend Tom Cowles from FX Home to talk a little bit about some motion graphics. Here's how that call went. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about predictions for motion graphics trends that you think that in 2022 people can use to more optimize their videos and ride that wave. Yeah, the big ones that I think are gonna be around this year are glitch transitions, that camcorder overlay that you see quite a lot, kinetic typography, specifically with uh, liquefying typography and making it look like sticky and slimy. And as well as I think fisheye might be kept making a bit of a comeback as well in terms of like a filter, making that look as wide and as crazy as possible. There are also going to be the um, the type of tutorials that we're going to be doing on our channel at FX Home, and um, you know they're they're all for uh, our video software HitFilm as well as Emerge, our photo editor as well. So uh, come and follow us, everyone. <laughs> Next, I sat with Jonathan Vardy, the creative director here at Artlist. He's responsible for all the banger commercials you guys have seen. 3D is becoming more and more available and more and more uh, easy, to, easy to get into. Today, anybody can do it. We're probably gonna see a lot of animation done by uh, done using like Unreal Engine. Today's the render in real time. Um, with like link to facial capturing and motion capture. And what steps do you think I could take? Maybe something a bit more people like me who don't really know what they're doing are kind of, it's kind of scary, it's kind of daunting. You have to make a choice there, which tool will you be using? Because you're not going to learn all the software. I think that I would probably go with Blender, probably choose Blender and Unreal Engine. 